Ainsley Harriet says hello like that, doesn't he? <laughs> well, hello. <laughs> I haven't seen Ainsley Harriet in forever. Uh, he's quite often on Radio 1 recently because Greg oh, really? James likes him. Oh. <laughs> Oh, funny. Oh, hello, my love. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. But how are you? Because you're you're the COVID queen. COVID <laughs> yeah. queen. I w- I was very poorly. You were. But I'm I'm better. I'm not a hundred percent. But I am seventy five, eighty percent. I'd say. Yeah. Well, that's Still got good. Cough. <coughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> a good cough yeah so but if you hear a hack every so often well that will be me clearing yeah. the goo out of my cho- chest um but yeah i'm i'm i'm, I'm i got through it good. i survived it i did say that i mean we're like fully vaccinated yeah what would it have been like if i hadn't have been yeah because it was grim doesn't bear thinking about no it's a it's quite brutal it was quite brutal we think it was like a special like new chinese variant because it's just as china's opened up isn't it yeah yes and everyone else was going oh i had it and i got better in three days i'm like 12 days positive yeah so well yeah at least you know when you've had had it it, yeah you can say you had it well (laughs) (laughs) i did it i did it to the best of my abilities yeah yeah three years i managed to avoid it for though but there you go got us in the end yeah Yeah. i've had it once or twice (laughs) yeah it gets you you know i do feel like we'd i knew that we were living on you know borrowed time for it yes sorry i did squeeze the yawn in then (laughs) i'm not yawning over your quick covid (laughs) um right so we are filming this week i think i don't know I think we're filming it this week. Um, so <laughs> if we are filming it um, and I work out how to edit it, this will go onto YouTube as well as our normal podcast. Yeah. So it'd be a bit like the uh, diary, secret diary of a CEO. But Oh, God, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> kind yeah. of. No, isn't, but there's nothing secret about it. You know, this no. this is diaries of mega impressive CEOs. I'd yeah, say. yeah. <laughs> um, right. So we are talking about goals and intentions this week. I I feel that January um, 2023 is just in the bin. Right, yeah. January didn't happen. I'm pressing reset. First yeah. of February, I started at 2023. Yeah, I don't know about you my january was shit so um yeah well it just went so quickly isn't that I, funny because everyone else has been like it's been going for 12 weeks <laughs> <laughs> well, th- last year it was like that for me but this year i'm like it's february already what how's this happened yeah, that's How- scary yeah so uh yeah it went very quickly so, but, but uh, yeah, I, so we're we're gonna we're going to talk about our goal. Are we going to talk yeah. about goals and intentions and setting goals and intentions? And we're going to talk about our goals and our intentions. Yes, for sure. Yes. Um, <laughs> I have. Can many. I can I start by? Sorry, I have Gone. lots. Have Have you? Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna, we're going to work through them though. <laughs> what work ones or personal ones or a bit of both? Both. Or? Both. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm new. I'm a new woman. A, a new woman. Yeah. Okay. I quite liked the old version though. Yeah. Well, I'm still old, <laughs> but <laughs> with new intentions. Okay. Okay. I. So I did this exercise, um, and I put it in the newsletter actually a few months ago. I did this exercise with someone called Sophie Cliff, and she is called the Joyful Coach. Right, mm-hmm. and I did a um, a course with her about setting good intentions. This was like last year, yeah. And she did this exercise right at the end where you sit for ten minutes and you journal. So you literally just write, just whatever comes out of your head, you just write. Yeah. Um, for ten minutes, how you want to see your life, mm-hmm. and it's like however you you want to look at it. So it's um, you know, 
<clears throat> is it you getting up in the morning and having a cup of coffee and looking out in your garden or taking your kiss? And it's like how you envisage your life in like mm-hmm. a year's time or two years time or five years time. Mm-hmm. And then from that, like boiling down how to get to that point. Mm. Um, and I thought it was, it was really, really useful last year to do that. Mm. You just sit there for 10 minutes, like all this stuff that comes out of your head yeah. goes down the piece of paper. Yeah, <clears throat> and then you can go work backwards and set your goals from that. And I thought that was like really, it was yeah. really powerful actually. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, yeah. I hit my blind. Sorry. <clears throat> so I did a course earlier on um, this week, mm-hmm. and um, the chap who did it was talking about the same sort of thing. Right. And he he did it slightly differently. He said work backwards. So what's your exit plan? What, oh. What do you like but this was more business based but you could do it as part of your life plan as well yeah what what do you in 10 years time what is your exit plan from say leaving the daisy cake hampshire um or the podcast and work your way back so it do it in reverse what what, so so what do you want what do you need to have achieved before you can leave sort of thing yeah yeah or or how are you how are you going to stop working yeah how are you good what is your plan does it does that make sense so yeah so say I want to w- retire yeah and I want to have fifty thousand pounds in my bank <laughs> um, <laughs> <A> dream <laughs> um um so is that going to be enough as my exit plan okay I see what you mean yeah because so. I think a lot of the time when we set goals and intentions we, we're setting like um I want 20,000 followers on Instagram. And it's like yeah. this, this, and I know that we're all taught to do it as a measurable thing and all this. And it's like, but it's like, well, why are you doing that? Why are you, yeah. why do you want 20,000 goals? What is that going to then, oh, sorry, 20,000 followers. What is that going to translate to in your yeah. business? And how is that going to get you money to sustain that lifestyle that you yeah. want? And yeah. And, and so, what yeah, I mean, are you was... going to achieve by yeah. getting 20,000 followers? Yeah. Because um, it's all good and well going, right, I need to follow as many people as possible to get these 20,000 people. But if at the end of the day only 500 of them are yeah. interested in what you're doing, it's not worth having yeah. these 20,000 yeah. followers. It's And it's like, it's it's what... What are you, yeah, what are you getting out of it? What actually do you want out of mm. your business, out of your life? Mm. What lifestyle do you want? Yeah. And how do you work backwards to get that lifestyle? And it could yeah. be that actually that 20,000 followers then relates to that you can monetize something somewhere. And yeah. so that makes sense. Yeah. But if you don't have a reason for doing it, you know, just plucking like random goals out. It's yeah. like, well, why, why are you bothering? Yeah. You know? Yeah. That's a that's a very valid point because sometimes, you know, it's like me saying, "Oh, I really want to lose weight," but what do I want? Why? (laughs) Yeah, why? If it's like I really want to lose weight because then my back won't hurt, I'll feel healthier, Mm. my skin will be better. I get that, but just to go, I want to lose weight because I used to be a size ten when I was eighteen years old. (laughs) Yes, that's ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) Ridiculous. I mean, yeah, you know, it would be nice, but mm. this body's had a whole life since then. It's yeah. never going to be a size 10 again. Yeah. And also, um, <clears throat> I've I've written down, why set goals? Okay. Um, but it gives you something to focus on, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yeah. So, you know... Otherwise you are, for want of a better word, pissing in the wind. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's much better than what I've written down. <laughs> down. <laughs> Um, where, where is it? Uh, oh God, I can't find it. I'm not going to read it. But okay. something like mine was something along the lines of um, every day is the same day, and if you don't have something that makes it, you've yeah, got something in the future to look forward to, every day stays the same. Yeah, yeah. and it, it you, it's like it focuses you to change things to make days different. For yeah. a reason. Yeah. It gives you a reason to make days different, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So on a previous podcast, we not long recorded, I can't remember which one, um, I spoke about the manifestation um, yes. list that I've written on a Christmas card. I've sealed yes. it down 
and I and I've put it with my Christmas decorations so that I can open it at the end of the year to see if these things have come yeah. true. I can't actually rem- remember what I've written on there because <laughs> I was drunk <laughs> when I did it. But well, that's going to be a nice surprise for yeah, you. <laughs> I, I, one of the things I wrote on it was to increase my Instagram followers. Right. Um, and weirdly, I'm probably going to jinx this now. So I have not done any social media for over a month now. Um, right. I'm, I'm aware of this. I'm, I'm quite happy with it. You know, things are going to change. You're comfortable with that. It's yes. Right. Yeah. I'm, 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 I'm aware of what Maddie Shine said in a previous podcast, and, and I'm, I'm working. Damn our guests. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but my Instagram followers have started going up. And I have no idea why this is happening because I have not had any Instagram presence really. I've, I've done Isn't a couple of, of stories, but that's about it. I wonder it. if um, because I've got like reels on Instagram yeah. that are like months or even years old that suddenly you get Burst a load of likes life. on you. Like, so mm. I wonder if maybe the algorithm is showing your stuff to people. Maybe, maybe because <clears throat> I know you post a lot and sometimes. That comes back to me. Yeah, because I always tag you on yeah. stuff. Yeah. So I wondered if that was something. But um, I was for months, I've been on the same amount of followers. <laughs> but all of a sudden, it's just started going up. So, I, you know, oh, I, I do nice. think. Yeah. So why do you want to increase your followers? Um, because I want to... Um... I want the fame! Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't want that because, uh, as you well know, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not into all of that shizzle. But I want Instagram to be my base. I don't, I don't really like Facebook. No, I don't use Facebook anymore. And, and, I, and a lot more people are saying that to me. Yeah. Um, and I would like a lot of my business to come through Facebook. I feel more comfortable. Not Facebook, sorry, Instagram. Instagram. I just feel a lot more comfortable with it. I like, okay. I like it. I, I, I like think because the, the platforms are very different now. Yes. Um, yeah. And Facebook, I don't know, I find Facebook, I go on Facebook, I'll scroll through, I'll get bored because there's just so many ads. Yeah. And you and don't I, see anything you want to see anymore. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. and I think a lot of people <clears throat> are, fi- are finding that. Yeah. And and personally, you know, I, I think Instagram, I, I prefer it. It's like yeah. a mate as yeah, opposed to... Yeah, a comfortable place to be. As opposed to, say, <laughs> a head teacher <laughs> on Facebook. I want to say your mother-in-law, but my mother-in-law's lovely. So <laughs> I'm not going to say that. So the stereotypical idea of mother-in-law. Is yes, <laughs> yes, definitely. That's really funny. See, one of my goals this year is to um, not re- not rely on social media so much. Yeah. Um, but, but one of my goals is to kind of be more person, be more of me on Instagram. Because yeah. I think, or and on TikTok as well, because I think because I've stopped making so many cakes now and my cakes used to be the ones that talked for me do you know what I mean I would put pictures of my cakes up yeah that's who I was my cakes were who I was yes and now I want to do like more like one-to-one mentoring stuff and we've got the podcast and like the blog and all that I want to put more of me on Instagram mm-hmm. but I think that's I mean I'm quite comfortable yeah you are talking on Instagram but yeah. it's one of those things I only ever talk on Instagram when there's no one else in the house uh, yeah. and I love my husband I yeah. you know we've been married a very very long time you know we've been together like 35 odd years I was gonna say right? 55 years <laughs> something been like together that. For forever. forever but it's like when he's around you just feel a bit weird yeah talking to your phone mm. like they're a human being mm. um and he would probably come in and go, what the hell are you doing? And yeah. I'd have to explain it. And I wouldn't be embarrassed about it. It's like, I just, so I've got to get over that. I've got to get over myself yeah. on that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so I would like to use like stories more and that kind of thing more yeah. than, because at the moment I try and do posts and I'm like, maybe stories is a better way to go. And I've also seen that this year, 
vlogging little mini vlogs is the way to go on instagram to get people to know who you are mm -hmm. know your like your process of how you work be a bit more personable what is a vlog it's a video log oh right yes yes i did know so, that but it, it was in the expanse yeah. of what <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so and because i've now kind of changed my business i yeah. think i need to change the way i use social media yeah a bit more yeah do, do you know i've um noticed quite a few um posts recently or, or things that i've watched i don't know if it's just the way my algorithm is working of how people are like it just needs to be more natural no yeah. no fakeness no yeah. everything's amazing and immaculate and pristine do it yeah. do it how it is just do it just do yeah. it i actually saw um someone did a reel today um called and there's like a thing called be real stuff so basically it's it's like b movie stuff that you film yourself doing something and you you set up your camera in the distance your phone in the distance and you just get on with stuff and then when you do a reel you can just use that as like background stuff and put text over the top of it yeah and it's just you being you rather yeah. than having perfect lighting and perfect makeup yeah and, and all the rest of it i mean yeah. there are i mean you know how many hours can you waste on like TikTok, watching people restock their ice right. fridge. Yeah, with the this most. This is how I clean the toilet. <laughs> and they've got these nails out here, and you're yeah. like, you clean your toilet, really? Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I, I, and I want to do. I want to be more like present as me. On, yeah. On that's a good. Instagram. That's a good thing to achieve. Maybe because we we we're meeting up in February <clears throat> with the sugar craft junkies. Yeah. And um, maybe we should just do the whole day. <laughs> just film the whole thing. See see yeah. how that goes. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be funny. Yeah. yeah. So what other what other goals have you got on your list? Well, um, you... I'm currently doing a thing on Get Set um, Solon, which is lots of business courses and things. So my um, intentions is to do all of these courses that have been so amazing. Oh, I've, I've only done one so far <laughs> and I've had a business analysis, but they've, they've really helped me see, I know we do this podcast and everything, but, um, and we talk about all the business stuff, but it's really opened my eyes a little bit more to, I need to, to actually work harder. I know I really work hard already, yeah. but I don't necessarily work smart. So, so is it like making you reflect on your own business a bit more? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I, I know I work really hard and I do yeah. a lot of cakes and stuff. But um, like you asked me earlier, am I earning enough money? And and I was like, well, I, I know who I am, but I haven't really checked the figures or <laughs> stuff like that. So I, I need to yeah. um, be more structured. And, and take on on board the staff. So on Monday, I'm seeing, having a Zoom meeting with a, a potential virtual assistant. See, and, and I think that's really positive for you because that is you recognising that these are the things that you're not strong at. Yeah. So outsource them. Yeah. You know, potentially yeah. outsource it yeah. if, if so, you're not strong at it. Um, if I'm <clears throat> the one bringing the money in, and I need to make 10 cakes a week. But in order to do that, you have to do all the emails and the yeah. administration and everything. Which and you're no, spending no, no, no. two and a half days doing that. Yeah. Pay somebody else to do that for you, which means you'll be left with room to do the cakes that you're turning away because you're having to do the admin yeah. and you're missing those cakes. And also chances are you're taking two and a half days to do admin, but... I bet you procrastinate when you do your admin because you yeah. don't like doing it. Yeah. You faff, don't you? Because yeah. you're not, it's like, it's like I would do anything but do the ironing. It's yeah. that kind of thing. Is, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And um, I really, because I had Sam um, yeah. working for me last year um, and she was like, use your time schedule, write it down, plat, right, you know, 10 o'clock yeah. to, to 11 o'clock do your emails and I have been doing that 
and that is really helping me. Yeah. You can ha- not I'll uh, make a coffee and then I'll do it. It's do it. Do it. Then make your coffee. Yeah. There so, was something I was listening to the other day um about accountability and some there was a, a a way of working. I can't remember what the name was, but it was something like work for 25 minutes, have 5 minute break. Work yeah. for 25 minutes, have a 5 minute break. You don't get that 5 minute break if you haven't worked for 25 That's minutes. That's right. That's and right. I thought that was a really interesting yeah. way of looking at it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, one second. Sorry, I'm just doing a podcast. Sorry. Okay, bye. <laughs> but no, I, I think that's really positive because that's that's you going, this isn't my strength. Yeah. Someone else can do it. Yeah. And I yeah. think that's really good. And um, social media as well, which is what the, the virtual assistant will, will do, hopefully. Yeah. But I need to talk to her about it all and everything um because i mean how how does it work but she'll tell me all about that but um i think i would enjoy it more if i knew someone was doing all the bit that i really hate yeah and so because yeah. i quite often i'll take a video i've got my phone is full of videos but it's actually putting it up and writing the yeah. caption because you don't like writing captions and stuff do you no um yeah and i have to get over that i have to think yeah. but i i what i have to think is no, don't worry about what other people would write, how they'd write it, just yeah. do it how I say it. If Absolutely. I was talking to you, yeah, yeah, and that's. I mean, we've we've actually got someone coming on very soon to talk about branding, um, but brand voice is a big thing in branding. Yeah, and your voice is you. Um, yeah, and yeah, yeah and which I think is I'm, when Sam worked <clears throat> for me. I'm, I'm going to say oh, when Sam worked for me because she's a. <laughs> amazing but she is amazing yeah <laughs> she she did a really good impersonation of me um which really and she was like oh I love the way you speak to customers you're all like oh my god I love your cake what an amazing idea and she said and people really love that but I in my head I'm thinking oh they must think I'm so like oh my god I love your cake <laughs> but <laughs> But it's not, it's not, and, but that is you, and that's why they come yeah. back to you. Yeah. I mean, obviously they come to you because you make amazing cakes, but they come to you because they love you and yeah, and who you are. That's right, that's yeah. right. I think, and if I they think, don't, I think we're they talking about a off. similar thing. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I think you missed that bit. <laughs> if they don't like me, they can fuck off. <laughs> but do you know, the thing that I think we're talking about a similar thing, that it's like getting over ourselves, getting over yeah. ourselves and just getting it done. Yeah, that's right. That's and right. We don't have to be um, like a fast speaking um, salesman type no. person. Or I work in an office. Blah blah blah. But people don't want that. People no. at the end of the day, they don't. They don't want that. And yeah. No. So our both of our intentions this year: get over ourselves. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> We're amazing. <laughs> we are amazing. We are amazing. See, another thing that I um I intend to do this year is get organised again. Yeah. So last year, up to. to so we, up to when you moved <laughs> it, do you know what it was so what happened was is that we went on holiday we did the cake and bake show yeah over like so friday saturday and sunday with the cake and bake show then the following tuesday i moved house yeah i have not written a to-do list since no and my life has gone to shit because of it yeah it really has and i used to have this routine that every sunday night i would sit down i would write my to-do list for the week all my goals and what I wanted to achieve in that week. And then I knew what it was. And then every night at the end of the, the night, I would write my to-do list for the next day. Yeah. I haven't done any of it. And yeah. literally I've got, I've got these things that I think, oh yeah, I've got an email about that person. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, that person emailed me. I've got to reply to them about that. Oh, we've got these guests and I've got to make sure that they're, and yeah. And so that's within the yeah. next week or so, I am, I'm going to get organized again. Well, do you know what? Um, <clears throat> When I plan or set a goal, I always love to start with a list. <laughs> oh, I love a list. Yeah. And that's, the, I mean, that's another thing is since we've moved, I don't have an office anymore. Yeah. So right now I'm in Jules' studio. Yeah. Um, I did have an office temporarily, but then something happened with where Jules was using his office and that had to become a spare bedroom. So he moved downstairs because he and works And you had a home. water leak as well, didn't you? Did that affect your offices? No. No, that didn't affect anything. Uh-huh. Um, but so I don't have a, a, a space to call my own. Yeah. Aww. And that and that does make a difference yeah. when you've got um, your your zone 
Yeah. Literally. So I'm now, I've got a little little desk set up in his studio, his music studio, mm. and this is my area now. So I've got a, I've got a pad of paper mm-hmm. and my diary, and I've got all that kind of sorted in here, and I need to, I just when, need to get organised. When you set your goals, <clears throat> mm-hmm. when you think, right, I'm going to set some goals, do you... How how do you do it? Do you like just write a list? Do you, do you think? Do you have a plan mulling over in your head? Yeah. See, I I think so. I this thing that Sophie Cliff did last. So there's like things like why, where do I want to be this time next year? How do I see my life? Yeah. Right. Um. And I tend to set my I tend to go for a, a walk. Like yeah. I'll, I always do my best thinking when I'm walking the dogs. Yeah. So I'll be out and about um, and I'll, I'll sort of like think, well, what do I want to do? And then how am I going to get there? Uh, but the only problem is, is that by the time I come home, I've forgotten a lot of mm-hmm. that stuff. So I have to have in my head, right, so I've set six goals. What were those six goals? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Do you know on your phone, <laughs> you can go, okay, whatever thing you have, mine's Google. Okay, Google, take a note. Yeah, but I try not to have my phone out when I'm walking the dogs. Oh, look, my... <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. <laughs> um, yeah, but I just I, when I'm out for a walk, I tend to not have, and I think that's why I do my best thinking because yeah. I don't have a phone on me. It's just me in my yeah. head walking. Yeah. Um. So yeah, and then <coughs> so I will do things like right. So, so there's certain things like I practical things I need to get done this year. Like we need to get our garage sorted so I can mm. have an office and a kitchen yeah. and a garage. So that has to be sorted. So then I can write a list of all the things I need to do for that and when I want to get that done. Mm. Um, but then there's other things like, well, yeah, I'd quite like to be more present on social media. How am I going to do it? And then I'll write. So it's kind of like a, a fuzzy, how do I want to, my life to be? Yeah. And then start writing a list to make it more practical, make it more structured. Yeah. So on the course I went on, oh. I was wondering, mm-hmm. can, you, can you see that? Ooh. I've done that with Sophie. Yes, yeah. so you, you, it's different parts of your life, isn't it? Yeah. That you, yes. Well, this is, this one was called a business roadmap. Okay. So it's lots <clears> of <throat> circles, and and it, and the the chaps sent it to us. Yeah. And you've got today, year one, year two, year three. Right. Okay. Um. And and he's actually, I've got my my pictures here. He's giving us examples. So it's not just a circle that we're looking at thinking oh what what should i be putting in my my circles because sometimes you just don't know yeah. do you you, yeah. you you need someone to give you a bit of a a prod and um i can't find it now oh look all this it's printed out double time so what do those circles represent so you had like four circles like getting yeah. smaller or getting bigger getting bigger and then you had like a cross uh, yeah, it has. It's. I'm looking. I'm so disorganised. <laughs> I can't find the example that he's given us. So you've got year one, year two, year three. Right. I'm going to hold it up again so you can right. see it. So, so what? So is this where you want to be in your business? Yeah. In di- different years. Okay. Yeah. So one one of the the little what is, what do you call those little like sections? One Segment. section. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> so he said you should put what your... So say you want to know you, your growth. Yeah. You should put your turnover in there. Right, What okay. you expect to turn over this year. What you... If you want to double your turnover, you need to put that in there. And then the next year after that. And then you can work back around your circles going well how am I going to achieve this yeah am I going to take on extra staff to help me um am I going to need to get stock am I need, going to need to take um an exam or yeah some, and so on yeah. and so forth and then you can work around your circle going from from that point of of action yeah type thing so that and that was really interesting. Yeah. See, I I do something similar, and it I mean, because one I did wasn't just business; it was life, and it was like, um, so where do you want to be 
in five years with your family yeah where do you, and it was like and it was really interesting so if you for example I mean like my one last year I had this vision that um I wanted to wake up in the morning to be able to sit in an open plan kitchen dining room have a cup of tea and look out on the garden yeah what was so what was I going to do to get that so then you had to work backwards yeah to make that happen yeah and it's like obviously right so we need to put our house on the market and yeah. then we're going to move and then what sort of house are we looking for and yeah. do we need to do work on? and it was like it's working back from that vision isn't it and working yeah. back and bringing it all backwards yes definitely yeah yeah and and again you it's it's kind of all a visualization yeah type thing you can't you can't do it unless you do step one yeah step two. and it's, it's little steps don't because yeah. if i if it, i had said right this is what my vision is for like five years time how, it's like how am i gonna make it happen but it's like yeah. what's the first step and yeah. then what's the second two steps after that and then yeah once that's done what's the next one you can't just go right I'm going to go from here to there because it's no you can't do that in life you have it's to like if it you make a dress you're not going yeah. to go I want to make a dress oh here it is <laughs> exactly <laughs> you're going to yeah. go and buy the pattern you're going yeah. to go and cut then you're going to buy the material and the thread and um do you have a sewing machine <laughs> why are you going to do it by hand <laughs> You know, if you're yeah, go... but it is. It's it's yeah. it's knowing what that end goal is, and also being practical about how long that end goal is going to take. Yeah, I don't know why I used a dress as an example because there's Could have no said way. A cake. Yeah, because there's no way in earth that I'm going to be making a dress. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a sewing machine. Have you? But, yeah, but I'm, you know. <laughs> but it's it's um it's and yeah, but it's it's about being realistic and being honest with yourself as yeah. well so yeah. I had a goal last year that I wanted a certain amount of views on our blog yeah with absolute and I had absolutely no basis for making this yeah. goal you know yeah. it's like right I want a hundred thousand views on the blog by the end of the year yeah that's what I want <laughs> and I and I, I it was like I literally picked it out of the sky yeah um and of course, I didn't get anywhere near it. Yeah, nowhere near it. But it did give me this this thing of right. So to get to five thousand views, what have I got to do? Yeah. To get to ten thousand views, what what, have, what more have I got to do? Yeah. Um, I mean, and I wasn't disappointed that I didn't get to hundred thousand views. I have to say because I knew that it was like a random amount. Yeah. But it did give me like that stepping stone of like, right? Well, I need to learn SEO. I need mm. to write more blog posts. I need to, and it was all this kind of thing that it was like gave me those little yeah little jumps and leaps yeah little measures yeah little, stepping stones little yeah so how do you see your business this time next year well i well i i want to see it increased in half of what it does already so you want to be making more cakes or do you want to be making cakes for more money Mm, cakes for more money <laughs> <laughs> it would be, be yeah. a better idea i i think um i uh the beginning of last year i think i flailed around a lot i i mean i have had a, a tough year be, the year before with mum and everything yeah and and i think um it has did affect the business yeah but i think now i've come out of that and having sam work for me last year really opened my eyes and she and she cleared, focused you quite a bit as well didn't yeah, she yeah she's yeah. cleared out all the yes the tut as you yeah. like to, to say <laughs> tut yeah, yeah the tut <laughs> or <not> tut, tut. <laughs> um and and even now like the other day i i um i cleaned out my conservatory yeah. which is where i work from i completely gutted it put everything i cleaned everything and i put everything back and again i got rid of the tut and i rearranged it sam made me see that i don't need to work from a bit over there and a bit over there and a bit over there uh, her, when she first came to see me to see if she was going to work with me she went right where do you keep your numbers and I was like well I keep some numbers over there and I keep some numbers over there and I keep the other numbers there and she was like what so you spend time going from there to there to there if you can't find the one you want so I t 
I, when I clean my this is how I live my life without a base right now <laughs> yeah so um I so I had a clear out when Pat Sam first started and her and her mum amazing came in sorted out the stuff um and I've had when I did it the other day I've done another step up I yeah. I've gone right I need to put this here I'm working in this section I can go now it's like the triangle you know when you work in the kitchen yes yeah I've got the same triangle in my conservatory now. So do you and feel like rejuvenated and renewed yeah, and refreshed? Yeah, it's so nice to go, oh, I need I need my thing. It's there now instead of having to get up and go all the way around to the other side of the table to get it to come back. Um, and tomorrow, hopefully, I'm going to be doing my garage again because Sam and her mum did the garage um, back in September but um, I, I feel I'm ready for a new... So, so you're going to level up in that as well? Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, and another thing. So Sam brought in all these new forms, which make my life so much easier. But when I did my conservatory, I went, right, I need a holiday form because I kind of know when I'm going to do my holidays. But when people phone up and go, oh, when, when can I have a cake for then? I always think, oh, have I got a holiday book? Right, yeah. So I've made myself a holiday form. So it's You used in... to have like a big wall planner though, didn't you? Have you not got that anymore? Oh, no, that's that's gone now because um everything's too analog. Com- yes. Everything's on computer now, darling. Yes, just... <laughs> I'm trying to get rid of paper. <laughs> just far too analog. <laughs> but I've created a holiday form that goes in my <laughs> folder. Um what was the other thing I've done? Um my health and safety sheets, I've All updated right. the, that now. So I was using the government one, which is reams upon reams yeah. of paper. I've now got one that was Sam's. Um, that is, the whole month is on one page. And, oh, blood, and you know, yeah, why well, didn't why? I do it before? But it's before. good. It's good. But yeah. then, because now you've seen that that's possible, you're taking that next step yeah. to make it better yeah. for you. So... So hopefully you won't be working, you won't be as busy. I'm working be, smart. Yes. And you'll be making more money. Yeah, which is which is what I want to do. Yeah. So um, uh, and like, it's like products. You buy so many products mm. that you don't necessarily use. Yeah. Like colours. So yeah. I've been winding down my colours because I'm getting really excited because I'm going to buy new ones because I've had them for so long. Yeah. And um, I noticed the other day, I, I hope I haven't missed it, there's a course um, from Colour Mill um, about their colours. They're bringing out, a oh. new, they're updating their range or something. Right. And it was on Facebook, but I'm very rarely on Facebook, so I always miss everything. But um, I want to buy a whole new range, you know. Yeah. To, to keep updated as well. Yeah. Because I want to update myself. I want to be in this year. I want to, people to go, oh, yeah, that is her. That is her style. So by making more money and by getting my style set in place, people are going to go, whoa. That's her. Yeah. But I, I, I mean, I see that you have got a style. And I think this yeah. is something that um, a lot of us don't see ourselves yeah we don't see it for ourselves yeah um that you have it because i i mean i know i used to go oh i haven't got a style on my own but then i but then i like you know like when i say when we we had the shop and we had three or four of us that were making cakes Mm. i can go back and look at pictures and i know who's made each cake yeah because everyone naturally does have a style Mm. but i think i think what you're talking about is something that i did right at the end of my when i was making cakes it suddenly go no, I'm going to really believe in myself with that yeah. style and really hone it down. Yeah. And like, I made a cake, so I made a cake this week. Don't often make cakes, <laughs> but I made a birthday cake this week. And I felt a bit retro about it because it was like a white fondant cake with sugar flowers. Yeah. Um. So I made it. Was, I had a peony. Yeah, you and don't wrote, do fondant. But I did, and I really, enjoy, I thoroughly enjoyed making this cake. And it had yeah. a peony and a rose and some filler flowers. Um, and it was meant, you know, it, it, someone said to me, it, it doesn't matter what colours it is. It's for my mum's 85th birthday. Just make it pretty. And yeah. Jules went, walked in and went, God, that, that's bright. And it was like, like a bright pink and a bright yellow. And I think yeah. that's because that's where I've 
moved evolved. to yeah i mean a pastel doesn't even come anywhere near my, any of my cakes anymore mm. um and i think it's something that we do we naturally do but it's actually recognizing that you're naturally doing it yeah and really playing on it really going right that is what i do and i'm yeah. not going to do anything else yeah because we like we we <clears throat> say it time and time again why do shit <laughs> yeah. that you hate? Yeah, why make cakes that you don't like making? Yeah. And so I really enjoyed making this cake this week. Um, and actually, one of my goals is, although I've said although I've said that I'm going to give, I've given up cakes, and my last cake was like last August, making this cake this week, I thought, and I filmed it as well. So I filmed myself making the flour, so I got content out of it and all the rest of it. And I'm like, maybe I can do like one or two cakes a month, as long as they're ones that I really want to yeah. do. Yeah really yeah. want to make yeah so um on my flavors list i've got cakes that i like that i yeah. make but i i've got one cake on there that i hate making go on tell us what's it what it it's is. champagne and strawberry oh I, it's like gopping why yeah. would anybody have that and i made it yesterday it's on my wedding cake flavors and i'm like that's it it's going I'm is it on not... there because that's what everyone else has got in their wedding cake. Yeah. Things. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that. It's got, I've sworn a lot today, haven't I? <laughs> but, but you know what? Fuck that. It's yeah. coming off. I don't know if I've said this in the past, but I, it is definitely You've never said off. it. Good for you. Yeah. For you. See, because I, I used to have flavours on mine and I was like, they're only on there because everyone else does that. Yeah. Them. Why make a cake you don't like? Yeah. Because how are you going to be able to perceive whether it's nice or not yeah yeah I'm, yeah do it do Get it streamline it. those flavors yeah i'm, I'm bringing carrot back because ca- i looked i'm like carrot have you not got carrot head. really oh, i love carrot cake <laughs> i'm bringing carrot back <laughs> <laughs> i'm bringing carrot back <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> Yeah, oh, too right. I made a carrot cake the other day, actually. I do like carrot cake. Yeah, it is delicious. Oh, and with orange buttercream. Oh. Like the zest yeah. of, of an orange yeah. and buttercream. Proper oh, orange. my God, it just sings in your mouth. Oh, I made... Sorry. I know we're, we're, it's the business of cake making, but... But go on. Uh, oh, my God, I made the most delicious cake yesterday. Um, I haven't made it for ages. It's a lemon cake with a slither of lemon curd a raspberry cous- coulis on it they freshly made and mascarpone um like icing oh oh my god was this for you to eat yourself no my friend is getting married and i'm making oh. her wedding cake i'm bloody putting that in my flavors yeah. why haven't i got that in my flavors <laughs> enjoy making I yeah because I, I i've got a like a, a lot of I me mean, my flavor list was extensive to yeah. say the least yeah because you shouldn't have too many that i mean gordon ramsay when he goes into these restaurants and their their menu yeah. plan is enormous yeah i mean it's, i i had a lot on mine um yeah. but then w- another one of my things was i was all about different flavors you know mm. so i would do um i one that i did quite a bit was lemon and basil oh yeah I and i had a lot of people one. order yeah. lemon and basil yeah uh, and they would go. I've I've never seen lemon and basil yeah. before. So I had like a lot of bits and pieces like that. And but I yeah I had yeah champagne and strawberry. Oh god! And another one that I used to hate making was white chocolate and raspberry. Oh, see, I really like making that one. That I've 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 fine tuned that now. Right. Yeah. I and just... and when I eat it, I'm like, oh, 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 oh I love this cake. See, I like a bit of white chocolate buttercream. It is a bit sweet, but I do mm. like a bit of white chocolate mm. buttercream. Anyway, we're digressing. So. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the cake um, makers. <laughs> right, so another thing that I've got on my list this year, and I'm going to put it out there just to make myself accountable, right, is get my cookbook done. Oh, yeah. Because, you know, it's that's been hanging now. around for... Yeah. Oh, I, I, came, the idea, I came up with the idea in the second lockdown... And I did a crowdfunder to get the printing money and everything. And then the world opened up and I just never got it done. Yeah. So I've got about 75% of the recipes written. Yeah. Or about 50% of the photography done. Um, so I need to get it tested. I need to get... I'm going to say this time next year. If you're not... Out. If you can't say I've got a book published. Yeah. This time next year, that book is going to be You have to shave your head. 
I'm a bit scared by that. <laughs> but it will give me motivation. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay, Val. If we're saying right. goals, I've had this last year. Last year, I missed out on a goal that I set because I'm a numpty. But go on. Um, enter Cake International. Yes. <laughs> Do it because I did say I was doing it last year, and yeah. then I, I I missed the deadlines because I kept going. Oh, I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm, yes. yeah, I've put it out there in the universe now. Yeah, you are going to enter Cake International. I'm going to get my cake cook, cookbook done. Yeah, deal. Yeah, right. Um, should should we have any goals for this podcast? Do you think? Uh oh yeah. Well, I'd love to do Cake and Bake Show again. Oh, I should have talked. I, I talked to you this off 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 air as such okay. um but yes because I, we... I was doing my holiday sheets and, and i was like oh i need to do one for the cake and bake show <laughs> but i'll have to speak to Bronya about that one well, um, so so i think i think we will be back at the cake and bake show because someone that we met there that was part of something else she's now working with the cake and bake show and she emailed me last week all right. Um, and but, said but, that she's but, working with Cake and Bake Show. So fingers crossed. Um, but yeah, I would like yeah. to work with Cake and Bake Show again. And I think we should try our best to make it happen. Yeah. Um, Cake International. Maybe do something there. Okay. Yeah, we, we'll try and talk to them. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I also think we should try and do more of video episodes. Yeah, we've talked about that. Yeah, that's a good goal to have. And I would really, really like to do a live <laughs> okay you can do a live one yes, well, just on can. my own <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can do that <laughs> but no I think because we've talked about it in the past about doing like a live on Instagram haven't we and recording yeah. at the same time so yeah. maybe we, 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 can, we can do that I we should just go. get over myself <laughs> <laughs> yeah so I th- that would be quite nice um, so yeah. there, there would be two things that I would quite like to do for the podcast do um, you know but what? again also, go on I, I, lo- I love our lives at the moment on the podcast and everything like that so I've met so many nice people and 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 isn't it nice that we can go oh well we're going to do this with the podcast we're going to do that so yeah and do you know what the other thing is um that I was looking the other day May 17th or something like that is our mm-hmm. three-year birthday is it oh my so God. that was when the first one was set out into the world I mean obviously yeah. we'd recorded it before then so that's three years and yeah I just think in the last three years it's it's become I don't know it's just become easy and it's like we don't make any money out of it no but how much fun is it yeah oh my god so yeah much fun. and all the people yeah. we've met and all the things that we've learned yeah and... oh my god yeah and I've just... done so much more because of it because yeah. it's given me the confidence and the knowledge to yeah, try knowledge. stuff yeah like <laughs> i always think of this like putting it your dummies in the dishwasher i would <laughs> never have known that if i hadn't done the podcast <laughs> but yeah it's just it's just things that yeah things that you just learn little bits and pieces yeah. and yeah so i would like to obviously continue with the podcast um yes. But I also think that one of my other goals about getting organised will help the podcast yeah. because I will get my shit back together yeah. and definitely move it forward. Yeah, better. yeah. Well, I know, I know for sure that by Sam coming in and organising me has made me more organised. Yeah. And I'm I'm already projecting ahead for the year to be to more do organized. other stuff which yeah. will organise me. Yeah, we will be. Well, we'll... Whether, whether it will work or not. <laughs> Yeah, will we be? What's her name? <coughs> God, what's her name? Mary Con- Mary Condo. Oh, yeah. Will we be yeah. the the cake? Although I did see something like she's even getting fed up of cleaning up after her, her children. Apparently. <laughs> oh, I, well, I'm not going down that line. But I, <laughs> dinners, I've I've been on strike. <laughs> if I, the world if I, is striking, and you're joining in. <laughs> yeah. If I, if I go out for lunch, I don't make dinner. <laughs> But they're all big enough and ugly enough to sort yeah. it out themselves now. Aren't yeah, they? yeah. Just there it the is. The food's there. Make the your own. Yeah. The internet, it, as the kids say to me when I go, "How do you do this?" They go, "Ask Google," and they go to me, "How do I do? How do I boil an egg?" Ask Google. Google. 
do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right, any other goals that you have got this year that you want to put into the world to make yourself accountable? Um, oh, I don't I don't know. I've, I can't think of any off the top of my okay. head. I've said the ones that I wanted to. Yeah. I'd, I'd like to be a millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, manifest it. Yeah. It's actually one other thing that I'm going to put out into the world. Um, and I did, I have mentioned it on, I did one of my other goals which was I got onto stories and I talked about it yeah and that is to do keep up with my newsletter because again yeah we moved haven't done a newsletter since yeah. um so I'm gonna do my first newsletter going out this week come in um yeah because and... I do read it <laughs> I think you're the only one <laughs> no no I know lots of people read it I I, I read black books yeah um, I read I your one you... Um, well, I, I save them, and when yeah. I have the five minutes, I read them. And my friend Amory's Pilates, I read her one as well. See, I, I also read um, Rachel Waring's. She does one. Yes. Um, and there's another one that I read. Oh, Stacey McDonald. Stacey McDonald. Oh, she does yes. Newsletter. Yeah. Yes. So, and I, yeah, I, I do like a newsletter. I really mm. do. Make sure. Mm. That gives you something to get your teeth yeah. into. Yeah, Martin Lewis newsletter. I read that one. I'm going to stop now because I keep getting all his bargains. <laughs> yeah, he's not saving you money. He's making you spend. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so that's something that I'm going to put out there. I'm going to get back onto the newsletter. From this week coming, it will be fortnightly. Um, if anyone wants to sign up, go to daisycakecompany.co.uk and click on free stuff and there was a, a sign up form. Um, but yeah, so that's something else that I'm... I'm going to put in the world that I intend to have my newsletter keep going. Because that's me putting myself out there again. Yeah. Yeah. You put yourself out there. The universe wants to hear what you have to say. (laughs) Um, Right. I don't know how helpful this has been about setting goals, but it it just feels like we're chatting. It's been a nice chat, isn't it? Yeah. (laughs) And I really enjoy it. But I think, I think we've maybe, maybe, I know we say this, but maybe we'll go back and listen to our goals and see if we yeah, you, this well, time when next you, year. When you edit it, yeah, you should write them down. I will, and and do them for like our Christmas thingy. Yeah, we'll we'll see. Yeah, we'll see this time mm. at the end of the year if we kept kept any of these and how we. I will. I will do that. That is a yeah. good goal in itself. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we're just a pair of goalies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, right. Okay, so I've just noticed you can go first this week. I, I'll sing it in a moment. Don't you okay. worry. Don't you worry. But I've just noticed when I've come upstairs, I closed my laptop and it shut itself down. So I restarted it and it's got rid of my product oh, of the week. Did you want to quickly get it? Yes. So, um, oh, I'm going to have to move. I'll do it on my phone. There we go. And I don't have to move. So I'm all snuggled up on my sofa. I've got a Labrador looking at me. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Ten minutes, Alf. Ten minutes, mate. Ten all minutes, right? mate. That's all you've got to wait. So Ten I'm minutes. Gonna sing... I know your belly's rumbling, my love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to um, sing it. Are you ready? I'm ready. Well, here we go. <laughs> Product of the week. Product of the week. Product of the week. Choo-choo-choo. Here we go. So you can go first this week. Okay. Okay. Right. So on my product of the week, um, as I told you, I made flowers this week. Yes. And um, I had to use my ball tool. Oh, I love a book. Bo- what your really nice ball tool. My Serrat. Oh, don't show that tool. to me. It's just, <laughs> I'm just too jealous. But the problem is I have looked everywhere and I don't think you can get them anymore really yeah and i'm a bit gutted so so i'm going to talk about generally about um other serart ball tools yeah. so this one is um it's about a two the ball on the end is about a two centimeter ball it's like a big chunky thick pencil because it's got a pointy end yeah and it's a clear acrylic one and it's got a ball at the end which is a two centimeter ball and it's serart and I bought it at Cake International off their stand I was about four or five years it. ago. Yeah. I think, yeah. Pre COVID. I, I love it. I really, really love it. But I've really hunted and I don't think they make it anymore. Mm. But my other, I have another Serrat ball tool. 
and that has got on it Serart 2. Um, and so that's like a normal pencil. So it looks like a pencil with an acrylic pencil bit with a yeah. metal ball tool. And that's a centre, that's I think one centimetre ball. And I think they are still available. But I just want to say. They're so nice. They're yeah. so lovely. I just want to say Serart tools are amazing. Yeah. And I've had I've had ball tools in the past, which are quite been quite frankly pants. I had metal ones that. Do you were... know what? Go on. I've just thought of a goal for myself. Oh, go on. Because I've got crappy ball tools that every time I use them, I think, why don't what? you buy a new? Well, just buy yourself one. So my my goal this year is to buy myself a decent, decent a decent ball tool. Yeah, without um, a reach so I, down the middle. I highly recommend. <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> Where they've been stuck together and you've still got a seam in it. Yeah. yeah. So I highly recommend the Serart ones. Um, and you can get Serart stuff from Zoe's Fancy Cakes. She's yeah. got a really comprehensive range. Mm. Vanilla Valley has a really good range of Serart stuff. Yeah. Another one that I saw the other day, which I looked at and was like, oh, that's a bit sexy. Um, Robert Haynes has a ball tool. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so he's got a double-ended oh. metal ball tool. So it's got a really big ball on one end and a smaller one on the other. Oh. Yeah. I watched one of his videos yesterday, actually. Well, I, w I was watching one. It was on TikTok. He did something on TikTok. Yeah, and with, I watched was it, it with uh, Lily or something? And yes. And tin foil. Yeah. yeah. It was very clever, wasn't and it? And he was, he was cutting the, yeah. the, the paste while it was on the veiner. It was like, yeah. oh, my God. Um, yeah, but he had a ball tool on that, so... But yeah, that's my product of the week. A decent ball tool. <laughs> right, well, that's on my goals now. Long, <laughs> along with my yoga mat that I'm going to get myself. Because <laughs> I've seen a new one I want. Okay, so my product of the week. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry if I've done it before, but it's a new year. Okay. Yes. New year, new year. So I used it yesterday and I, I was holding it and I thought, oh my God. It's a glass. I've just noticed it's in a glass bottle. I love this. So mine is Squires Designer Metallic Luster Dust. Okay. So the one I have is is um, Snowflake. Right. I, it lasts for <clears throat> ages. A little goes a long way, and I I use it in in everything. You know. So it's I, it's just is it like just a sparkle? Just it, a... it's it's a shimmer with a hint of sparkle. They they oh. they do different colours. Right. Um, some of the other colours I don't necessarily like, but they're okay. not me. They they're not colours that I would use. You can get rose gold. You can get silver rose gold. Gold gold sparkle. My favourite is snowflake. It comes in a glass bottle, which I love because it's recyclable. Yeah, that's good. And um, they're just it's just lovely. So I used it today with a bit of um. I don't know what the, the rejuvenated spirit and I um with my you do like a bit of spark <gasps> spark dinner time dinner time you do like a bit of sparkle and a bit of glitter don't I you I do I yeah. do yes zhuzh it up yeah but you know the letters that you use to em emboss yes in sugar stamp stuff I filled it my sugar stamp letters up with with it no. And I use it for luster and shimmer and, and all sorts. So you can get it right across the board, but at Squires as well. But the one that I've come up with is on Craft Company. I like their website. Yeah. Um, it's £3.95. And I've had it for a long time. <laughs> so, um, nice. and you can you can get it in lots of colours. Yeah. I See, I, I like Squires stuff. Yeah. Um, I think it's a great shame that the Squires shop shut. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I do like a lot a lot of Squires um products I really really, really like. Sorry. <laughs> what? No, I'm doing a podcast. Is it nearly six o'clock? Yeah, six minutes two. All right. But just two two more minutes or right at the very end, Jack. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, we are right at the very end. Yeah. We are right so at poor, the very end. Poor Jack's just start his stream on Oh, so he needs his he needs the, your internet. The internet is obviously playing out which time it's coming. So he needs right. Yeah, well I think I think we are, we will let Jack go off and do his stream. He's got yes. six minutes. On Discord. <laughs> 
Oh, right. Okay. So yeah, it's us for the day. Um, yeah. Thank you for listening. Yeah. We thank would love you. to know what goals you've got. Actually. Yes. Tell us what your listen, what your yeah. goals are, what your intentions are. Yeah, and um, and then we could, you know, account for you at the end of yeah, the year. Yeah, we as can well. ask you what they. <laughs> definitely, definitely. Yeah, no. Let let us know what yours are and and how you intend to get there. That would okay. be quite interesting. So, yeah. thank right. you very much for listening today. Don't forget to subscribe, click, link, like, review, uh, jump up and down, a sing thumbs up, everything yeah. else. Yeah. Um, it's good for us it's it's good for us it's good for you and it's good for all your mates who get to listen to us as well yeah <laughs> yeah i think <laughs> and hopefully this will be a video version as well if you want to go and look at it on youtube yeah and um, and i've got my uh t could you read that is it i can no justice no peace yeah nice got a clothes swap <laughs> <laughs> right so um love you see lots you next time. Boo. Bye.